okay guys so to start with the cardio session first of all we have to do some dynamic stretching this will help prevent any injuries from happening and warm up the muscles before we go ahead with our cardio session so you're gonna do each move for around 30 seconds to 40 seconds to start with the warm-up we're gonna walk for around five minutes on low speed so i would say 2.5 to 3 that's the level of the speed and put the inclined on one always set the incline to be on one or 1 1.5 that's gonna basically have a similar walking effect as if you're walking outside it will also help prevent any chin splints from happening now to start with our actual cardio session, you're going to be jogging for one minute and you're going to choose a speed that you're comfortable in. So my speed here is around four. Choose a speed that's not going to be too fast for you. This is more of a low intensity steady state workout. So basically it's just an interval workout, you're gonna jog for one minute and then walk for two minutes. And you're gonna repeat the whole cycle for 30 minutes in total. Now to start with our upper body workout, it's gonna be a circuit workout. The secret to tone and build lean muscle is to do high reps and low weight. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do each exercise back to back, 10 reps each, and then take one minute to two minute rest in between each sets and then repeat the whole circuit again for three times Remember to always choose a weight that you are comfortable with and not too heavy but at the same time it's gonna challenge you. Keep in mind that you're gonna be doing everything back to back so just choose a weight that is not too heavy. And just for reference guys, I listed the amount of weights that I will be using for each exercise. Now for this workout, I just want to mention, if you don't have resistant bands, you can always use weights, but keep in mind that if you used weights, it's going to focus more on your shoulders, however, the resistance bands will focus more on your back and lats.
Now going to our foam rolling and stretching routine, it's really important to do these after your workout. This will help with mobility and also prevent any muscle soreness after the workout. And also uh, these type of foam rollings and stretches will help with making the body look more slender and lean. If you are the type of person who would look really bulky easily or build more muscle easily, stretching and foam rolling after the workout will help in giving you the toned look rather than the bulky type of look. So you will be doing each move and each side for 30 to 40 seconds.
so that's the secret for toning the upper body rather than bulking it and also please keep in mind to have healthy diet and nutrition as this is going to help maximize your toning and fat loss journey